Hi there, Robin here, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the PDC-22 from Pilot. It's a dual-channel DI box. We're going to be talking about all the features and benefits of owning a DI box. All of that's going to be coming up in this video. So what do we have here? So first of all, it does come in different packaging every once in a while. I'm not 100% sure of that. Uh, DI boxes, I tend to really like to use them when we're hooking up guitars or bass guitars or any type of string instrument that has a quarter inch connection to it. And we want to hook it up to a mixer instead of an actual uh, guitar amp or anything like that. So when we take a closer look at the unit, it's important to actually have a reference sake next to us. So in this case, we do have a four channel mixer and this mixer happens to have what we like to call a high Z button. Uh, they title as guitar. Now this is going to do what this does internally. So what we're going to do is turn the first channel into the same thing, allowing us to plug a guitar in. So like I said, if we look at the quarter inch on an actual mixer, this is would be considered a low Z. So it is it requires a lot of energy to get into here to actually put a signal out. Now there's other things involved like the actual ohms uh, and small things like voltage. All of that is in there as well. But primarily we need to get this to react properly, just like we would if we plugged our guitar into a guitar amp. Now to do that, we need to have the consistency of what's going on with the microphone input. So again, I always say microphones, look for those XLRs. That's going to be your mic inputs. And there it is. So this box, a DI box is going to allow us to plug our guitar in here and then use the XLR output here. So we can plug into here and that's going to give us not just the uh, connection, but it's also going to adjust all the ohms and everything else that's required for it to go in here properly. And that's what we're always trying to do is make sure we don't overload either the mixer or overload or stress out the equipment we're plugging into it. And how do we do that? Well, first of all, you need to have a guitar cable because you're plugging in a guitar. You're going to plug that in on the side that says input. Then you're going to need an XLR cable and that XLR cable is then going to get plugged into the output on the other side and then plugged into the actual mixer. Now you are gonna to have to make some adjustments on the gain levels here to balance off with your line levels and everything else in the mixer like you normally would, but this is going to be the magic right here. So on this unit, there's also some other adjustments. We can either ground the unit or remove the ground simply by actually clicking on a button on the side. If you hear any humming or buzzing or if you get any static from actually touching the strings on the guitar, changing the ground setting usually fixes that problem for you. Each one is set up separately. On the other side, you do have a switch, which allows you to adjust the actual uh, dB from a neutral unity position to a minus 20 or minus 40, again, depending on the equipment you're plugging into there. It also offers a bypass direct out. So if you still need to plug your actual uh, guitar into uh, guitar amplifier, you can simply plug that cable in on this side here. This allows, you know, to get technical front of house use. So this way they can adjust that and set that up uh, for the actual audience on a big mixing board. But at the same time, the guitar player on stage can still use his guitar amp to adjust and be able to play against no problem. So DI boxes are very handy. If you're just doing a PA system and you don't have a guitar amp and your intentions are to plug everything into a portable PA system and you don't have a high Z input on your actual portable PA system, this is how you get the magic done and this is how you get it done right. So there you go. Is it worth buying? Absolutely. DI boxes come in all shapes and sizes, all types of fashion. And some people like one more than the other, but it's more of a Coke and Pepsi thing at that point. To be honest, it's all electronics, it's all circuitry and wiring inside with a couple of little bit of diodes to make everything happen. I mean, there is some magic going on in this box and that's why you're buying it. Outside of that, uh, we've gone through lots of these products very reliable, very dependable. They do exactly as they're supposed to, as long as you hook it up right and you're using it for the right reason. And there you go. So remember when you're buying the unit, you're just buying this unit here. It does not come with any cables at all, uh, but do take inventory of the cables you have because you're going to need an instrument cable on one side and you're going to need an XLR cable on the other side. I like to say thanks for watching. Hope this helped out. Maybe we'll see you in the next video and bye for now.